Sellers. Sellers, welcome. It's good yeah, to have everybody here. Yeah. Good to have you all back. I am not in my RV today. <sighs> it looks so, like your sheetrock behind you today. It is. It is. It's sheetrock, and then I had to do some, some touch-up drywall work. So, I, I have light. I have, I have shaky desk. I have antenna kits to build. We're going to talk about building mm. an mm. antenna today, and I don't even know which one we're going to build yet, but it's going to be one of our coffee and ham radios antennas, and I have quite a few to choose from. Put that up there. Here we go. Let's move that and move that. I, I, have, have, I was doing that and you started clicking. That could have been a shake, disaster. Shake, 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 shake. I have, yeah, it's it's going to be shaky. But I we can got tell you this. which one that is <laughs> by the box. This one, this one's the Poseidon. And then mm -hmm. I've had these. I've been carrying these things around in my truck since before I left Wisconsin. You hold them. That's how long I've had these things. Like this one I've had so long I had to hide my address from y'all. <laughs> this one's got my P.O. box on it. And this one's got one of my kids' addresses on it. So you can't see that either. So... I don't even know. This is one of these has got to be the nine to one, and I think the other one of these is the Lynx dipole, but I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. So, what do y'all think we should do? The Poseidon is the hot mm -hmm. ticket item right now. It is, and kind of leaning to Charles. I think it was Chuck more. that just said it. The the Aries was the hardest toroid to do. Let's get the uh, ask the chat to, to to pick one. How do we do that? Uh, uh, you can put a poll up on YouTube if you're in the YouTube studio. I'm not in the YouTube studio. But you got to be in the YouTube studio as the Coffee and Ham Radio's channel. Yeah, Primate, are you working on that? Or? I can figure that out, I suppose. You're I mean, I would like to build the Mercury because that's the easiest bright. one. <laughs> do, I need, <clears throat> do I need to go the into Mercury? the stream actually, in this thing? Yeah, the live Actually, the, uh, the Poseidon, I think, is the easiest. Really? Yeah, I yeah. I would pretty, say I mean even Jim built it. Come on. Probably true. It's, I built, it's pretty I, easy. Oh, I built the uh I built the Apollo too. Yeah, we saw that one. You oh shut up. <laughs> it's my first time, man. It doesn't have to be pretty. This remember your first, first time, time and Chuck? He, and he was he was a little <laughs> I, Chuck probably it didn't don't look remember like that, his first time, me. but was that long ago? <laughs> I it hasn't been well, a few years. Yeah. Teal mm. kind of got me into doing toroids when he was doing his little builds. I was I building all the radio kits, yeah. yeah. What I'm yeah. seeing here is no Poseidon because it's too easy. Mm -hmm. Okay. And and 45 Assassin. We could have Jim do this, but we only got till Saturday 45, morning. 45 has excuses why he's not a good operator now. We found that out. Yeah. The other day. Uh, what was that excuse super again? Chat. Go ahead. Man, I don't like this. What was, what was his it, excuse, Chuck? Uh, what was it? It was something I put in there. About not him, radios or something. Not operating? <laughs> yeah. Okay, Great I got a poll. Cool, cool story, bro. It. Tell it again. I have, to, uh, I have to look it up now. Well, I okay, put so something in an hour the long, chat. Chuck, so. I'm going to look Go inside ahead, this keep box talking. and see which one this is. All right. Shane, thank you for the $10 super chat. Appreciate it, buddy. Shane loves his Aries. Uh, so there's Chuck, more. you were awesome. Let me drop it, a Jim. boom. Thank you, Chuck, Shane. I'm not sure what Shane, you were doing, but you, it, you, you sent me a, a naked packing list with nothing checked, and then you sent me a packing list with everything checked. Was that, oh, was that you that checking was, off what you put I, in the box? I, I, I think you needed something or something. I don't know. I don't know. That was like what, yeah, two years my ago? Fault. Yeah, definitely. A year ago? <laughs> it's your, your fault. I can't yours. remember yesterday, dude. Yeah, it's my fault. <laughs> and this has got a bunch of S beaners in it, so this has got to be the Mercury. Oh, look at that sexy 45's, one 45's uh, new excuses. I'm a I'm not a bad operator. I have poor soil conductivity. That's the new, yeah, that's that's the new excuse, right? That's the new, that's the new excuse, yeah. That seems legitimate. No, I have I have well, done that. Like I've taken a working to, antenna to a different location, and it just went off the charts with bad SWR. Yeah, Swears. It, well, we're uh, we're working on uh, Tim's, trying to figure out what's going on with his, and we think it might be soil. I did do some experiments. So Tim's wasn't yesterday. bad. It just wasn't as good mm -hmm. as Chuck's was. Like Tim did a good job it's building it for sure. Now, my SWRs are crazy good. crazy good. I don't know why. It's not me. Chuck, it's you. Chuck, Chuck, but Chuck, I'm you pee missing, in the yard. 
I'm missing the shrink, Chuck. My dog does. Mm, there's two little in pieces in the there, probably. Chat. What's up? No, man? no, the battery heat shrink. Mm. And oh, I didn't well. get any wire. Don't... But that, that might have been. Yeah, well, it might have been something I asked for. I think yes. I sent whatever you asked for. I think. Yeah, totally normal. I'm You're working on one lot, of those man. plastic. I'm working on one of those plastic fold-up tables. So, I, so you know, working with we what have I got. Forty votes in, and uh, votes. Wow. the Poseidon is uh, by far away leading the pack. Oh, oh it is. Good. Yeah. Well, that one has everything because I just sent you a kit. Well, I actually made up your yes. kit, but it's stock. Nothing. Nothing fancy. No surprises. Now, now, Ape's kit was I had to, I had to, it was packed pretty tight because he, he asked for extras. Matt is uh, Matt is ready to take notes on building this antenna, so he is oh, standing by. There's another no sexy one device. Oh, I got battery heat shrink this time, and I got some wire this time. Look at that! It's our 22 gauge orange wire. Love it. Nice. I love. Now, that if you wire. guys leave that out, if you guys leave that out all the time, it will fade. It gives you. Yeah, Let's mine see. faded. I left it out for about oh, a week and a half. They're, they're asking for a knife check. Ape, what do you got? That is Ape, a gaze knife. Nope. Oh, <laughs> what is, wow. What is, what is that's that? going to leave a mark. It looks like a Gerber. Is that what that is? It's a Gerber. Yeah. If we're, are we doing knife checks? What's that? Well, yeah, it was called out in the chat. Doc, What's Doc that Brad. What's that one? Looks like a gas station knife. <laughs> I think it is. Ape, Ape, that joke was funny once. And I got I got this Strider PT right here. Nice. This thing is sweet. That's uh, all right. <laughs> Dude. Hey, I can't read that. It's got what's words the, on What's it. the ones from um, Washington or Oregon that are really nice? Sabenza, oh, Chris Reed kind of Sabenza. Really expensive. Ape is I, got a nice the, snob. I got the mini Sabenza right here, left-handed version. What's the brand? Sabenza. Oh, no, I'm sorry, Chris Reeve. Brand, Chris Reeve, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so we got I this sweet little sticker in the kit. The right. We got a BNC that is If KB9 assembled. QLS is out there, sorry I missed you earlier. I'm, I'm trying. Other oh, Andy's got a Leatherman, respectable. We got a strap. That's right. a, that oh, we're, a, are we doing multi-tool checks too? That is a solid blue collar knife. Uh, somebody's got a Griptilian, that's a nice knife. Buck old timer for four wheeling. Of course, four wheeling's got a buck knife. I have Raptor paramedic shears. All right, they're Leatherman, right? We have. Yep. Yeah. We have the the controversial Toroid. <laughs> oh, I said that wrong. Mm. Toroid. The Toroid of uh, the Toroid of uh, anxiety. Hey, Bob. Yes. That that's the drama roid. The drama roid. Right. That's a good one. Benchmade was the ones I was thinking of. All right, I got six zip ties. Chuck, you shorted me a zip tie. You only got six. That. Yeah, only got six. That's all you're supposed to get six. That's the controversial part. Yeah, don't talk about zip See? ties around the primate. Mm -mm. I, I feel like I didn't get one of these in, in person as a yeah, you know, like we just took the, the disc that Chuck designed and then we sent it off to the same people that manufacture the the winder frames for us. Mm -hmm. But I feel like they made it upside down. It's kind of concave. It is? Yeah. Just just a little. Whereas the winder is all like smooth around the edges. I don't know how to round over circles, so I couldn't round it over. Chamfer. Ah, chamfer. We got that battery heat. Shrink. Oh, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Yeah, it's not. It's, yeah, I mean, it's done. functional. We're done with this guy. He's I lost him. It's Who? my fault. It was my fault. A lot of bench maids out there. Bench maids. Bench -maids was what I was talking. Oh, that's that's the one I was talking about. Wire. I got oh, you weren't talking about this Benza, uh, Chris Reese Benza? Oh, oh hold on, hold on. I got seven. One, two. But I don't think it's here. Three, four, five, six. Nope, only got six. It's six. I got a, uh, one of our little S clips. Yeah, these are nicer than the last ones, Chuck. That is they want to do a Dremel one. check. Dremel check. Dremel. Yeah, how you I have to go in the other room to get mine. Yeah, I'm going to look, for, wire, I'm so. gonna look for a, a rechargeable one of those Dremels. I don't want a cord hanging oh, out. Oh, you're right. You have recharge I know, Chuck. I got, a, I got a corded one. I hate it because it's corded. And that cord is... It's just too many cords. You have it you take it out and the cord will... You got to pull it straight and it's all coiled up. Hey, so. hey check this thing. I got, I got a video. I got it a video is. coming out and it kind Indeed. of pertains to what we're doing tonight. What are you doing? What do you got, a son? Sneak, a little sneak look. 
Pop it out. Oh, yep. Yep, those are nice. That should be yeah, so that, that, that C clamp like thing, Chuck. Same kind of thing. Yeah. If you take that C clamp thing off of the base and turn it over, it's actually a uh, quarter twenty on there for mounting a camera too. Oh wow. Yeah, nice. I like that. It's a it's a very interesting little articulated device. All right, this little, someone's gonna this have to give me some directions. Nice too. Man. Chuck, are you gonna are you gonna teach me up? Are you gonna train me up? Uh, I, I, it's kind of hard to teach you and and watch my FT8 too, but yeah, I can. <clears throat> I guess I gotta Chuck. turn the pole off now. Or so if you want to make it a little easier, I, I'll give you a couple hints. If you're new at doing toroids, and and Jim did this in his video. First of all, you can mark your uh, toroid, uh, you know, straight across, make a cross, and then divide it into eight eight marks if you want to like with the sharpie to... yep that's yeah. what i did that way it kind of gets you where you kind of want to be well especially if this is the first time you've wrapped you one so you're not just willy-nilly throwing wires on there too I, I count and i can't remember from seven to eight half the time that's why i marked it chuck exactly what we look at that he's got the perfect seven. little marks there so he can get perfect look at that black and decker makes a cordless drill for 29 dollars there you go. I'm going to buy Do it they? tomorrow at Home Depot just to... Because uh, I, I am kind of getting tired of scraping those things. I make so many... I'm telling you, the Dremel tennis. is the way to go. It takes seconds. I like, used my Dremel the other day when I wound the... Uh, the. Uh, okay, pro tip one. Test antenna. I used yeah, the Yeah, it had to work for you, Jim. It worked great. And I say pro tip because Ape taught that to me. So, Well, you know. Yeah. You know. I mean, he is an internet personality. That's right. And if you if you have you have any like painters tape or around you, around there, I like to sometimes I like to actually get the two ends together and just tape the them. Sh the short answer is yes, Chuck. <laughs> I have, you should I have, have all some. my tools I see you, here. I see you working behind there. So I I don't know where this is actually old work. <laughs> this is like two oh. years old. I've never oh, finished that. He likes like to put tape on the end of his. So let me uh, let me ask a question. Uh, Ape, what about the slides? Are the, is that tonight or is that for another show coming up? That is the twentieth. Okay. Nine days from now. Yeah, I was somehow thinking that was tonight. Next you know, Thursday, I'm not going to tell you. On a gimbal too. Do you? I'm not going to yeah. say who, but next Thursday we've got a pretty interesting uh, guy that's going to be on the show. You guys might want to. It's going it to revolutionize out. ham radio. Right. It is. All you put guys. Certainly, at least a segment. That's as much hint <laughs> as I'll get. All right, Chuck. What's next? So kind of after after we here. have the guest on Thursday night, look for them to be on uh, Clubhouse a few weeks later. Uh, probably right. Tuesday night, and then following. and then two weeks after that on H two O. So <laughs> right. you, you want to you want to do um, what is it three inches, Ape? I forget exactly. I do. I, I usually it. measure off about three inches, sticking out. You, that's a you're you're very familiar with that three inch measurement. So it's like a right. He's got a reference he carries with him all the time. <laughs> You got the built-in reference. Don't be, don't so, be giving so to you a bad time. Through the top or through the bottom? <laughs> we'll go the other oh, way. Yeah, go the other way. It doesn't matter, right. Steve. Either way, whatever you uh, makes you happy. I'm not going to answer that. <laughs> well, I mean, whatever. <laughs> just get, Front just door. get the winding, son. Chip chop. Hey, we got brown liquor from minutes. brown liquor from um, Sacramento's here. Seven hey, three ham Adam radio. Dennis. Adam Mister. Dennis. He we're was having so much so fun with it. I couldn't have any. Up or anything? You we're can, be chilling yeah. With Adam Zip tight. Zip tight. That, uh, Since we gave you so many. Few weeks. What's that? Oh, yeah. Is he going with us? Yes. Oh, nice. So pro tip number two is to zip tie your wire to your toroid so it doesn't... I actually... I'm kind of like Ape. I like to get, like, two wraps in before I do that. Isn't that the way you do it, Ape? <laughs> yeah. It looks like Uncle Don joined the show. Don, what's happening, bud? Uncle yeah, Don. That's going to stick. And they time me out. What the hell? Ah, shoot. The other pro tip Chuck will tell you is to make sure your nub is to the inside of the toroid. I should have taken some uh, some Dramamine. The table. Oh, yeah. yeah. Can you hear my wife? She's in there chopping stuff up, man. She's got the girls are coming over tonight. Are you, they have a wine club or whatever it is? No, no. They don't call it that. They call it. So that's two. The, the oh, real yes. house, the real housewives of Stockton. Yeah, that's right. Of Compton. 
That's right. You know what? Do you ever? You guys watch that uh, White Boys Can't Jump movie? Woody oh, Harrelson. Make no, sure you're not twisting them. It. Are you? Are you? Oh, I did. I, I twisted one. Look at that, fellas. I twisted you one. Know, you don't want right. to get a twist. You don't want to get a twist in it. Because we know other people that have done that before. So how much does that actually matter? That was a lot of that was filmed in Compton. Well, supposedly. if you twist it twice. It doesn't if you twist matter. it twice, you, you can't cancel yourself out. If you, you, you twist it an even number of times, you're Actually, going to go. <laughs> I'm going to build one. I'm going to twist the wire all the way and build one and see how it I works. I was just thinking that, Chuck. I'm like, well, you know what? That's interesting. I wonder how that would work out. So do you guys know who Owen Duffy is? Listen to listen to Dennis. Chuck, Chuck drank too much at Huntsville. Chuck he trademarked the only one. No, there was somebody that had drank too much. It wasn't me. Somebody told me he loved me at Huntsville. And well, he does. That was probably. I'm like, that was. Pro- I felt. And Huntsville is what I'm talking about because <laughs> I was afraid. I was actually afraid to come down the hill because it's a little curvy. With Dennis, you know, he was feeling pretty good. It was a rental. That wasn't my car. So I was asking if you all know Owen Duffy, and you guys don't. So, but he's like the. I know that name. Does. Ham of hams, and he's got all these blogs around tow roids and winding and antennas and just all this stuff. And I was reading a article from him the other day, and he was saying that people don't understand wh- how to count wines on a tow road. And he was saying that every time you do a wind and then you do another wind in the reverse direction, it cancels out the work that you did on the first wind, right? Mm-hmm. And it seems like it makes sense when when you when you think about it. But then I got to thinking about the traditional winding of a forty nine to one end fed half wave antenna. And you do seven one direction, seven the other direction, seven canceling out seven would be zero. And so that would mean that you would get no magnetic inductance from the toroid, which we know is false. So if anybody's smart and can explain what he's trying to say there, I'd love to hear it. I want to um, assume that he's smarter than all of us. I just want to say Shane is correct. I want you to put up a picture of that thing we were talking about in our private chat and see if Hollywood can, what Hollywood says it is. We can't talk about that thing. Oh, you're talking about that, uh, that component in that dingus you did. Yeah. You don't want to say the name out loud because you don't want to cloud, you know, the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. Right. And let me see if I can find it. That which is suggested is, which is correct. Right. Even though I got that guy, let's get this guy here. He's really strong. Steve, it sure looks like you got cross wires from here, but, Look at that. No, you look good. Never mind. I believe that's all eight, too. Let me count them up. Every time it goes through the center, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight turns. All right. We got a Gazinta. We got a Gazala. Wasn't that easy with all those marks on there? It was pretty good. I, I felt like I had something to live up to. Mm-hmm. And I only missed and now you're, the... And now you're... Go ahead. I was Hollywood, say, says, Hollywood says the magnetic field on the toroids very small. It does not cancel out on each side. I would say that your your man is correct because if you pass through the center and then turn around and come back through the exact same way, you just pulled the wire back out. Now there's no wire in the center. Yeah. How's that work? <laughs> What's next, Chuck? Oh, take the you got to take the two middle wires and you are okay. going to, you need to get your, uh, pretty close to the toroid. You need to, um, get all that enamel off of there. I just go actually go out as far, you know, like an inch or so. Then you're going to twist one of them around the other one and Is leave one long close? and cut the other one off. Hand man. Yeah, but you, but you got to get that stuff off first. 100% okay. critical to this operation because you can't solder the enamel. Now, if you hold heat on it long enough, it will burn the enamel off. He's but saying if, the opposite question. How critical is it to not scrape the insulation on the magnet wire? You got to. You yeah, gotta I guess as you're, it, as you're winding you it, you don't want to scrape it in here. Oh, in there? Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah you know, um, these, these toroids are nice and smooth. Don't use pliers. Yeah, don't use pliers. Ask me. But, but, ain't you got a Dremel? I do, but, but it's, no, he, yeah. Compromising here, son. So you mean to scrape off all this enamel wire? Uh, No, you don't have to go all the way to the end, but one of them you want to go out a ways, but you can do that after you finish winding it and soldering it. Get your soldering iron going? Start that up? I can. I can. It'll warm up fast. Okay, okay. 
So I would take that short one the short and one, strip yeah. that one all the way. Strip that one all the way. All right. From take like the back long, here. Yeah. All the way and you can cut the And you can cut the other one off about the same length and then twist it around and then cut it when, once you solder it. What's up, Big John? 3R. <clears throat> while, he's, while he's doing that, let's do this. Let's play oh, a game of name that component. Now, Ape did not Which build component this. Are we and don't say what it <laughs> yeah. is, Chuck. Don't. Ape would be ashamed. <laughs> we want to know what that blue component is in the middle. The dingus in the center. What is the it? one that's what is that, that is running the uh, parallel with the flat earth. You that's should have got the, the one. Yeah. The, the, the one with the stripes on up. All right, we got one vote for inductor. Doctor. Howdy, Big John. James says not, inductor. I am not impressed with this loop. They're all saying inductor. Yet. That is a small ruin in there. I want to know what Hollywood says. Hmm? This is all supposition and theory like the flat earth until Hollywood weighs in on this. Well, yes. Tom, Tom's saying it, he, agree, he agrees it's an inductor. And Hollywood says it does it's have, an inductor. It does, have a, it does have a weird shape to it. Marvin's saying oh, it's hey, a resistor. Tom, I didn't see Tom pop in here. Andy saying capacitor. Oh, Andy Kelly with the wild card. Andy, something coming your way, brother. Got sent yesterday. <laughs> I hope it's what you ordered. Because <laughs> <laughs> nobody could tell me what you ordered. Dean so says he just, he, he's pretty respectable. Oh, yeah, see, now we see capacitor. Two oh, capacitor. I think Hertz has got a tabulator. tabulator. Now Hollywood's wavering. He says it could be a resistor to lower the Q of the inductor cap tune circuit. <clears throat> so that, so the in, when you see the toroid and you see the component next to it, is that a capacitor or is that a resistor? It's marked it's 24, 2430. Or maybe it's 32. Okay. The little rectangular thing above the dingus. The surface mount deal, yeah. Yeah. Bradley wants to know if I can explain the eclipse with the Earth. I don't being see why flat. that's so difficult to understand. Like it can be flat like this, or it can be flat like this. It just depends on yeah, what your reference plane is. But it it wasn't Earth. the Earth. It wasn't the Earth that was blocking the light towards the moon. It was the moon blocking the sun. So the Earth can be perfectly flat like it normally is, and then the moon passes in front of the sun, the and that's so. Is the the, the, the Earth flat is moon? flat, but the moon and the sun are both spherical. Yeah, Doc Brad, since you're so smart, let me ask you a question. When I looked at the path of totality, it moved from totality. It moved from west to east. And now where I grew up, the moon rises in the east and sets in the west. So how could it have been mm -hmm. possible if the if all this science stuff is true that the path of totality moves from east, I'm sorry, from west to east? Explain that. Doc, thank you oh, for man. the 499 super chat. <laughs> Yes, thank you, Doug. And you got some bonus drama with it. <laughs> but Ape the Earth is just being flat fulfilling what he with, asked. W that was called a uh, an, an eclipse, right? It's called a solar eclipse, and that means that the moon passed in between the flat Earth you know, and the sun. The flat, you, earth I'm, the, flat really sun, the flat Earth and the flat Earth and the spherical sun. I'm still confused. Well, the alleged sun. Who, what who about knows the, what is really the moon is. spherical or is it flat? That's what we're trying to find out. Yeah. I mean, how people are like that, the moon. The, broke these off scientists from our are planet, saying right? stuff like the center of the sun has a core of whatever it's supposed to be. How do they know that? Yeah. Uh, so, I have to say, I, I'm really upset that I didn't do a video on such a spectacular solar eclipse that we had here because I I was out working on my quad and never knew it happened. Well, um, Chuck, I mean, you're not really... I wish, I'd, I wish I'd done a video on that, man. We have a uh, lawmaker who said that the moon <laughs> is a planet and it's made of a lot of gas and we're going to try and live there one day. As, well, I yeah. was just a amazed. Lawmaker. Yeah. There we go. All right. I have got the enamel stripped off of the short one. Now what, Chuck? So, so you got to strip the, a little bit off of that. You got to strip it off the long one, too. Okay. So you, when you wrap them together, they're, they're both bare. Because you're going to wrap one around the other one. Yeah, Frank says we had the best. Yeah, because it didn't it didn't affect anything here. Oh, Frank, I didn't get back to you. Dang it. 
meant to, but it, I got busy helping the wife. James, I was, you I was, what, uh, I took this piece apart, right? I, I took this piece apart. This is a mini circuits, uh, combiner splitter. I did a video on it today and I wanted to know what I was looking at the parts and I wanted to know the value of that resistor. But then everybody was saying, you know, they couldn't figure it out because the stripes were goofy and then we're, maybe it's not a resistor. And then, so it started a very passionate debate. <clears throat> How do we get TO in the middle of the screen? Is this thing in the middle of the screen? I just had it. There you go. I didn't want to make anybody sick with my, uh, you know, seasickness thing going on here. And I'm just using the tools I have at my disposal right now. So pocket knife will get the job done. Dremel will get the job done. Sandpaper will get the job done. Fire will get the job done. What the heck? Fire? Fire. 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 Did I get that guy already? Uh, I'm actually using the back side of the blade, not the back of the blade, the, um, the... the trailing edge of the cutting face of the blade, if that makes any sense. Yes. James and is saying he he where there's inductors also... in his QDX. Yeah. Yeah, it, I'm uh, 100% sure it's not a resistor. You 100% sure, huh? I am. I'm probably wrong, but I'm 100% sure. <laughs> you could have that thing desoldered and on the component it's been like an hour right and a half ago, so we know this for the show. It sounds like a lot of work, though. <laughs> nah, What's that? you just heat it up. And then pull it away. You don't have to yeah. do a clean job. I mean, look at how they built it. They didn't build it right. very clean. You can probably right. upgrade it when you put it back. Repeat. You want to you take that short one and twist it around, but you want to make sure you get conductivity. Yeah. I was. We actually he he stripped that one. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah, I stripped them both. Oh, you did all the way. Okay, it doesn't matter then. But you only you only need a couple twists. And well, you want to keep that short though. You get. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Don't you don't want to go that far. You went. You went I, said only, I said only a couple of twists because you're gonna have to stick that into that. You don't uh, need to BNC. untwist okay. it, Steve. That's fine. You you should probably be. You're probably fine. I'm gonna mute because the, lady, the ladies the ladies might be showing up here. It's hold, grab your and winder. I, and I might have to leave. Grab your winder right now, and put the roid where it's gonna sit with that twisted wire going to the. So you may have to. Yeah, it went a little too far. Because that center twist where you've got it, that that has to go into the center post of the BNC. Right. Yes, I just got to cut it. Yeah, that's and that so didn't hurt nothing good. though. No, Thanks, that's James. probably good. Don't get crazy. You're good. Okay. Now what? Yeah, just so you got enough straight wire to go into the BNC connector. Get that BNC on the frame. Chip chop. I figured that was next. Hey, Izzo. Izzo rolled up in here. He's probably trying to figure out what they're going to do on their show Tuesday. Hey, Izzo. I wish your science teacher was here, too. I would tell him a thing or two. Hmm. <clears throat> so if you look at it, the path of totality, not only does it go the wrong direction, according to the science books, it comes up from the south. And it, and it went out over the northeast. <laughs> That's Sorry. because of the coaxial I tilt you cut of me the off planet that is rotating in a circular orbit. You muted yourself because of the lady show. Well, then why did it go the wrong direction? Yeah. It doesn't go so, the wrong direction. It's the correct direction. It just appears to be can that you way. Sh can you show how you place that, on the planet. Tio, with the cup? The, the BNC cup, cup? Oh, I did it up. Cup I did up. it wrong. That's a good question. I did it wrong. See, and, and it won't always be they were, totally they were up, Russian but one way will be more up than the other. Oh, I was telling you, but I had myself muted, and I thought Ape yeah. was just cutting me off, but like usual. Yeah, but, see? Yeah. Oh, that actually was good, cup? because mine was yeah, yours of, came out good. 45-degree angle. Now, um, Pump told me you can turn them, but I, I don't know. You have to be careful. You can. It. But it's just, just a, you, it just makes it a little bit easier to suck the uh, solder in later if it's up. Interstellar Starman says you're wrong, Jim. So he's taking my side. What about the coaxial tilt of the earth? Yep. He says, you're wrong, son. Stay in your mm -hmm. lane. He could be talking about Stay you and your lane. crazy theories. No, he's not. He didn't say who was wrong. He's talking about Chuck being wrong about <laughs> using the cup. Put the cup up. The cup goes John down. John is on my side. You he have to cup. You have to cup the him. truth of it. He sees King the Wacky is saying that's how shadows work. Now, all of a sudden, the eclipse is a shadow. There are four well, rotational <laughs> axes involved. That's why it appears look, to be coming He's got half a shadow direction. on his thing there. 
All depends no. on your frame of reference. And there are four right. rotational axes. It also depends on what you were smoking when you made these observations or drinking. Oh, we got Let's another waffler here. Holder. Tom has now changed his vote. He says it's a reversed resistor. And he says 52 and a half ohm. So that's a, that's an important. So that's that's right exactly there. what I thought would be there. 50 Tom, ohm the reason here. I said it's not a resistor, every reference I had on resistors, because we were trying to decide what it was, shows one band uh, separated from the other bands, even on a five, five band component like that one. So you got Can one band separated away and then the other four. And that separate band, my hands are reversed because of the camera, that goes mm -hmm. on your right side, and you read mm -hmm. the four bands left to right, and then that last one is supposed to be the. I need to grab a tool. I'll be back. Tolerance of the resistor. That's why when I saw that with five bands right next to each other, you don't know which way to read it to figure out a value. Because so here's no one. You want, to put, separate. you want to put this one up there? I don't know if I can see this or not. I see that, James. It does look like there's inductors. <clears throat> yeah. So that's how it oh, should look. Hang on, Charles. Hold up. Yeah, See how that band though. is apart? Turn it the yeah, other way, turn, Chuck. Let me let me turn the light off real quick. No, it's fine. Just turn it the other way. Let's see how much better so that the, is. No, flat with the. Keep going. You want turn. this way? God Almighty Jesus! <laughs> Rotate it on its horizontal axis, Charles. Solo him again. That was me coming back. <laughs> so that separate band on the right side is the tolerance. And then you and read the value by the colors man. from left to right because it's they all like look black the colors. Green. It's your yeah, right. the colors are tough. It's your first, second, and third positions, and then the multiplier is the in this case the fourth band, and then the fifth. They should really they should really do those colors better. They're they're tar they're hard to read. They are hard to read, even when you got good light and you're not looking at it through Chuck's Damn, shaky cam. Damn, too. All right, how do you want this to work? China, we're going China right now. You want to mount it to the frame, really? Well, you got to solder. You got to solder that twisted up thing. Yeah, but he's, he's still got way too much twist in it. It's fine. He's fine. I think it's got if, enough. If you got, huh? He's yeah, fine. Like, he's got enough as long as you he can gonna... center it up and stick it in the hole. He's good. And then trim it's off that little long. piece. It's too, it's too, too long. Too it's too long. I know. It's I'm, I'm long working. You, it's going to be really hard to add wire back, so I'm doing a little bit at a time. Right. He cut right. it twice, and it's still too short. <laughs> 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 that looks good. Yeah, so what I'm doing is I'm I'm checking the depth of the... Oh, I thought you were cutting the wrong one for a second. Yeah. Thanks. Frank, don't worry. When we do yours, there'll be less less chatter, so you'll get it right. Handman said, I just use a meter. We've been telling him that since he asked the question in our chat. Jody, yes, the five band, um, they make military ones, but I really doubt that they're using military resistors in a commercial product. Why are you being so aggressive with Jody? I'm not. Well, that's I'm Jody is the Canadian he's nemesis. Asking good, he's asking a good question. What's up with that? Y'all start, stop trying, stop. You're instigating, you're agent provocateurs. <laughs> No, Jody asked a good question. Sound like you're being you're like you were mean mouthing him. Sounds like you're trying to stir mean mugging, stirring up <laughs> mean the shit. Mean. Let's just let's clear, let's erase, erase, CQ. The yeah. the reason I haven't taken the component 17. off and measured it with a meter is that I don't care enough to be honest with you. <laughs> really, it's been yeah, three days. Abe, I've been shut up about this in three days. That's right. I know. Enough. I just thought that we had a group of experts here who could identify it on well, site. He called, right? Listen, he called me out. It looks like a resistor to chat. me, but I'm not expert. Jim, what is this? I'll thing? get my. I said, yeah, let he, me he, Google that for you. I'm wearing safety glasses. This thing's got to shoot me and hit I, me in the face. I thought the funny thing was he asked Jim. Well, because yeah. Jim's always talking tough when he when it comes to components. So I wanted well, to, because I wanted Jim look at that. cannot uh, Jim cannot wrap a toy. Look at this, like Chuck. Can, Chuck doesn't mean I don't know what I'm looking at. Dun, dun, dun. Uh -huh. Oh wow, nice case. My buddy Chuck made that for me. Tom, it says that on the flat earth versus the scientists, their predictions on the path and beginning and end times were totally right. They were dead on. They must know something. Or they were in on the plan. Oh, my God. I, I've never seen this with that. Are they pushing the NASA agenda? agenda? Is that how that works? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> if this is on the wrong side, this is on the left side. So I'm going to need some left-handed soldering help. All right. First thing you got to do is solder up that twist and then solder the 
the center conductor pin. That would be step this number one. This thing warms up quick. They are fast. The little Chris Bricker says for the is that a battery one? Put a meter on it. USB. <laughs> that was eight hundred oh. degrees. Done. Wow, that's fast. Dang, is that the Pine Hill? Yeah, it is. I actually got to turn it down. It's way too hot. I got a I got a crappy USB when it takes like twenty minutes to heat up to three hundred Fahrenheit. Hmm. So I'm going to do six forty. That's my normal soldering temperature. Soldering yeah, I temperature. Bought, I bought a, a battery or rechargeable uh, glue, a hot glue gun. That thing is. I love that thing, man. And, and my wife hasn't got a hold of it and just glooped up the end of it because I clean it and after what every I, use. What I did was I pulled the USB C cable that's powering my laptop out of my laptop and uh -oh. plugged it right in here. Good to go. So now we're on uh -oh. battery power for the camera. For both Chris cameras. Bricker is asking, is that the V1 or V2, Steve? Uh, I don't know. It does not say on the on the dingus. So it must, go through the, it must be the V1 if it doesn't say. Yeah. I didn't get it that long ago. Mm -mm. Is that lead free pre -tip. solder? A little pre tip. Yep. This Just is uh, not lead free solder. I do not believe in lead free solder. Do you have so a proper here? fume extraction mm. device no. there standing no, by? No, I do not. I'm just I getting all the safety nice. Sally stuff out of the way up front. So this 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 lead that you all wanted me to not cut does that go into the ground hole? Where does that go? That goes. No, no, you can cut tab. that one off. Yeah, that one, the long one you keep. Yeah, keep keep the other two outer ones, but you want to cut that. Yeah, little you want, you want to keep off. them. So get rid of this part here. Yep. Yep. Because the other one is inside the BNC hole. All right. right. Gone. Yeah, Never to come that. back. Look at that. Look okay. how clean it is now. Everybody's quiet. Yeah. I know. The solder always goes towards your You guys can't hear you nostrils. can't hear the girls. Watching because when, always, when they is. talk, it's like it's like, it's like smoke or anything. Ten else. decibels. Inhale some of that and see if you get a buzz. I've been trying, it's not really doing it. Hamstick is up in the house. He said he's using the same smart TS eighty. Um soldering the TS80. iron. He, he likes it's it. It's the same thing, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's the same thing. Are they both running iron OS? Like my, my soldering iron has its own operating system. That's amazing. Big John's calling OSHA on you, man. All right, Big John. Can I my address what too? What are you going to put in there? Actually, it's all it's all. Going oh, you did the both of them at the once. Iron. Uh, you must not have got the enamel off. He put about a good yeah. foot and a half of solder on that thing. I just got Japan, man. Let's see. Oh, not eh, not bad. An OSHA manual explodes in the distance. <laughs> He's putting a whole spool in there. Yeah, I, I haven't put more than a quarter of an inch on this thing. Y'all just Is shut up. Kester, I'm gonna use Jim's that... line. Y'all just shut up. Y'all just shut up. Is that Kester? Yeah, fire... Kester yes. Yeah, whatever it, it is. is. It is. Yep. Yes. Kester. Kester sixty three thirty seven. Best solder you can buy. Of course, I can't even get it on there. It puts the solder on its wire. I'm not it sure. It puts you the got solder the... on Nothing. its wire, or it gets the hose. See those those little irons like that. I'm not hating, but they get hot, but they don't have the heat. You understand what I'm saying? That's right. They, they, got no they don't. They don't have the ass to get the job done. Right. Hey, I was I just. I learned something nice the other day. Work. Change your tips right. out or pull your tips off every once in a while on those soldering irons because mine hadn't been pulled out for years because it just it just <laughs> it was always good. Yeah, I could not. Hard, I had to beat Andy's? that damn thing out. No, no, no. It's my little cheapy from Amazon. All right. Twenty nine dollars. The ah, you, right, so you, the you, see you. The, the short, the short one you have right there, kind of on the left hand side. That's the one. Yep. That's got to be scraped, and it's got to go through the t ground tab that you have on the BNC. So you wanted the yeah, shorter one over there, and then it's just going to go right down to that lug right below it. Except the, no, the, 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 the other lug, the, the lug, lug right, right next to your left thumb, the one under your left thumb there. This one or that this yes. one. Yes, no, no, no. The one, don't, the first don't reach. One. The first one. That, the first that, one. Yeah, that, that, that one. That one's the size of the screw. Let's see, who am I doing here? So I fired the uh, Poseidon up the other night when I was talking to Abe. We were chatting, and uh, I was on like I think I was on seventeen or fifteen, and I did CQ. I had like 
five Japan stations just like pounced me at one time. Those guys are fast though, man. They they get right back. They do. Those are quick. Those are quick contacts. Yeah, I was they're, doing. They're better hams than FT8. us Americans. I was doing FT8 this afternoon. I had, I had a bunch of Japan stations that were active on FT8. And one guy, I must have talked to the same dude like three times. He kept, I was calling CQ, and then whoever mm -hmm. answered, and he like three or four times in a row, I ended up changing bands. I'm like, leave me alone. Well, he yeah, knew you yeah, were a celebrity. I got, I got you there, Shogun. Move on, son. I got you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're, whoa. you're a celebrity, racial, man. Racial stuff. All right, we're going to quit that. It is sometimes hard to tell that you got the enamel off. You know, and then you think you got all the way around, and then you find out you don't. You, you missed a whole stripe, yeah. I know. Yeah, I think like, it was 20 meters. That's why I think Ape may be onto something if we can get the battery operable. He's just, he already ordered his, probably. I got it off of uh, AliExpress. Ali you didn't get it off of Timu? <laughs> you get it, yeah. Oh, yeah, the Timu, man. Listen, when that Timu started emailing everybody, I told everybody, I said, I'm not participating in the Timu mess. All right, so you want me to screw this thing down, wrap it around the stud here? Well, there's, you should have a, 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 a thing to crimp on there. I do. Right, so I need. I'm not sure I know the aspirin removal. Ooh, man. Technique, Jody. The Dremel uh, brands are pretty expensive, huh? Hundred and fifty dollars. Oh, for the multi-tool, the battery. One? Oh, fifty-nine for the small kit, though. But if you get the Black and Decker one, somebody was saying it was like thirty-nine bucks, thirty or something. bucks or something. Yeah. No, I'll be buying seen, the off-brand. Uh, I'll be going to Harbor Freight and get a battery multi-tool if they got one. Twenty-four dollars. Who? That smells worse than the solder does. Oh, this nice orange one's twenty four dollars with a ten percent discount coupon. Aspirin enamel remover technique. Ooh, that's a good one. What is that? I don't know. That's that's nice tell, tell us the technique. I don't know. I'm. That's what um, what uh, Jody is saying in the chat. I just added to Jody, the cart. More information. I'll do a review on this one. It's cheap. Twenty five bucks. Oh, shoot. Let me go back. Let me go back. I, think I, I love something. the smell of solder in the morning. It smells like victory. Yeah. I do like solder smell. Yep. It has a very tan or anything lead. either. So. Now get that little nerdlet crimped and soldered onto that wire. I need a crimp or two, or I can just solder it on. You can you do can whatever you want. Solder it. Oh, there's one for 17 bucks, man. Are you, are you oh, on the Timu? Yeah, I went to Timu because I learned that from my from a friend of mine that's a, a ham. <laughs> that I'm loves right there Timu. Dremel's the best way to do it. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> oh, Lord. Hey, here. Frank keeps Frank keeps hitting me over here. Dang it. I gotta go see what he's talking about. All right, I just bought one. The wife's the wife's having wine right now, so I'm 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 golden. Every <laughs> time to order Shut stuff. Down. It's time to order. I bought the Hardell Mini Cordless Rotary Tool Kit, five speeds, USB charging, and sixty one accessories. Send me the link, Charles. All right, I'm going to send you a link that I get paid off of. How's that? Oh, that's fine. No, I'll go to my link and then smart find way it. to do it. He's Damn saying me. push that wire into an aspirin. And the aspirin will bowl off the enamel and provide a protective vapor. I don't know where you get your aspirin from, but my aspirin aren't soft enough to push wire into. But you could use a solder and iron. You can't use the you can't use the coated aspirin. You got to buy the the cheap aspirin. The oh, cheap aspirin. What's that yeah. called? Yeah. They call aspirin. that buffered. They call that buffered aspirin. No, I'm talking the non-coated stuff. Yeah, like like um, the coated means it's buffered, like buffering, right? No, it just means it's coated an enteric coating. I think it's called a buffering. No, I think you're wrong, son. Which which know. one of you was a paramedic for 900 years? I'm just I wasn't even going to mention that. I still that's I'm, still not. I'm going to post this. 
I'll post this in here too if you guys want to buy it off my coated Amazon aspirin store. is not buffered aspirin. We never used buffered aspirin in the fire department. Somebody's got to Google buffered aspirin. Buffer is an additive, is what Don's saying. And he wasn't yes, even paramedic. A, I know it's an additive, but coated aspirin is not buffered aspirin. Coated aspirin. Well, then what's the buffering? Buffering. what's the buffering? What's the buffering, son? I don't know what the buffering is. Try buffering. We buffering. used an EMS ever. We handed out. That real means it aspirin. doesn't exist. If Jim didn't think, use it, it's not real. No, I think we Chuck just dropped his affiliate link in the chat. We just never I did. used it. Chuck, you dog. He does. He does that. Chuck's been known to drop an affiliate link on somebody else. It's our. Street. It's our link. It's our link. Our link or Chuck's link? No, it's Chuck's link. <laughs> it's Chuck's link in our our oh, show. So how did we get to it's our, our show? <laughs> our, our show. Your link. Hey, and you guys, Chuck I haven't like tested it. You might want to wait till I get te until I test it. And then you need right. to solder it to that tab too, to you. <laughs> I just want I to point out a couple other data points here. Handman is correct that we don't use buffered aspirin in the fire business. And Starman said Jim is right. And multiple people had said, there you go. Buffered aspirin has calcium carbonate oh, shoot. to balance the pH so it doesn't hurt your tongue. KQ4. That's what I was saying. Yeah, but coated aspirin is not buffered aspirin. It just has a coating on it so it can slide down your gullet faster. Yeah. It's not as chalky. I guess. I it doesn't used... it doesn't dissolve in your throat if it gets stuck as fast. I take one every day, but I take a I take a low dose aspirin, not a regular one, not a 325. That's to make sure you don't have a heart attack, Jim. Yes, that is correct. Mm -hmm. You don't. You take like a St. John's baby aspirin. So he's now he's doing? on blood thinners. He's on blood thinners. I'm not on blood thinners, Beavis. That's what an aspirin does. That's, that's what aspirin does, Beavis. Well, it also does blood thinner, but it also is cardioprotective too. Yeah, because it thins your oh, blood. He's now he's using, no, he's using fire department words. Oh my god. Okay. All right. So I got the uh, you all the one side it? through the ground lug, through the crimp on connector that I soldered on instead, and attached to the stud. Right, oh, that's soldered. Do you solder to the uh, lug too? It's all, it's all soldered. Yep, soldered to the lug and everything. Look at right, do the exact same good. thing with the antenna wire, but then do it up this. Uh, and there you go. Into the back. There yeah. you go. Beauty. That's yeah. the one you guys want to leave long. Um, I would say personally, this is a left-handed setup. <laughs> that's fine. Now, Chuck, you done so, me dirty. You left me out with another screw. I gotta dig through my other bag what? of parts. Hey, there's even, no, there's no screw for the get back. Clips in my kit, so you know you're bad me. There's, there's what no clips? screw for the antenna wire. No, you just, I just use solder to it. But see, I did, when I, I fixed Chuck's here. That's for your, that's for your, that's for your grounds. Oh, you, I'll I'll put it, you I'll put it big in you. This is a test one. I'm testing Chuck's to see if he did it right. But what I did is you I just put I did. A, a ring connector here, and I put a little thing for the element right here. See that screw? Yeah. That's what I would suggest. Now, now, now tell him why Chuck doesn't like to do that. He says it's too heavy when he goes I, on sodas. Oh, you're yeah. so full of it. No, because everything everything you put on there catches on stuff. And I actually use my radio. I actually use my antennas portable, unlike probably everybody but T.O. here. All right. What am I supposed to do and, with this uh, thing? Same just thing bring it back to those it. holes, right to the middle. Measure to the middle. Cut it, cut cut about a, a, a little bit off, so you make a little circle there to solder to, and then but you got to scrape everything off again. So you just want this thing bare connected straight to the antenna wire. You don't want me to use yeah. this thing at all. I use those things because I find it a little bit easier. Yeah, it's so hard because he wants to change it, but so when he changes, it, he has to cut that off anyhow. No, I don't. That's what you said. He yes, has a, he has another stud that he put on here. Right. I know. I know. But if you feed it through like you're supposed to, I think to I'm going to go with the Then you have to cut it off. I'll go down to the hardware store and get me some screws later. I asked you if you wanted more parts. You said no. No. Well, I didn't know I was going to not get the part I wanted, but that's okay. Just, you know? just take one out of there. Just take one that's out of there. It's your fault, T.O. You. It is. This is what I asked for. Because when I send something to Ape, it's like, send me four of those things and four of those and two of the other ones over there. But, six but of those. Make sure you send me 12. Make sure but, you send, send me 12 of those zip ties. But go cheap on the zip ties for everybody else. <laughs> no, I, I say load up with the zip ties. Dr. Trailer? Oh, no, that's, that's right. That was you. That was Chuck that was being the cheap bastard with the zip ties. That's it's, right. It's Speaking just their, bastards, did we get to If you made the kits, you would understand. If you actually made a kit, you would understand. 
Hey, th thank God you do. There you go. So don't no, argue. The pink with tumblers them. are not in yet. I wouldn't be surprised if they'd show up tomorrow. I thought they were here. No. He he didn't order them when he said he ordered them. That came out. Oh, that's it right. takes two to four weeks. Yeah, uh, because the it's our special order. Because they're bulk and they're engraved, so yeah, it takes a minute. So we are looking at some, some, some things that'll make me and Ape happy. Right. I guess what, we're, Ape happy. we're trying to figure. No, no. You got to make. You got to cut it back a little bit farther. Oh, I'm going to put that. it right on that stud. I'm going to put it right on that stud, Chuck. You're going to solder it to it. I'm going to. Well, yeah. I'm going to use the included. Yeah. Okay. Connector. Go ahead. Cut it where. Somewhere. Cut it where you want. Cut it there. And then I'll What's figure wrong? out how long cut, it is, and then I'll cut it. it. Oh, you're going to cut it again? Yeah. I just wanted to get rid oh. of some of the excess. I wasn't scraping for days. And, and what I always try to tell people when I do the build that is, is you don't want that wire sticking too far in there because the, our our terminals, our ring terminals are like perfect size for those things. And if you stick it through too yeah. far, it, it's hard to screw down the nut. Yes, it is. When I ordered those, I ordered my, myself a pack of those before we even started. I'm like, these are perfect. So you, you guys can build this in less than an hour if you don't have three people arguing with you the whole time you're doing it. Telling we're you you're wrong. Well, we're just telling you how to well, do it right. The, you know the nice thing doing? is you were listening to me most of the time, so that was good. I was trying. trying. Keep yammering. I know, they, they interrupt yammering. all the yammering. <laughs> From Ron White. Show them how to do yammering. this. Did you, did, you, did you show them how to do this last time? Show them I, I whipped out my, my Bic lighter. Don't you all carry Bic lighters with you? I a do. little heat on that thing, and it comes right off. And I actually burnt it, and it smelled real bad. What yeah, I don't I understand is prepper types that walk around with a fire steel in case they need to start a fire. I walk around with yeah. this very Bic lighter. People are like, okay, I found. Fires. Have you seen the little small Bic lighters? They're like the, you know, the um, not yeah, the lighter like that, but they're short. But they're the ones like for putting into the barbecue. Yes, they have. They're like torches. I'm gonna yeah, buy some more of those. They, they're awesome. Oh, got another contact. Use it for KC lighting three L O J. Hmm. So I'm running a loop tonight, guys. A delta loop that's set up horizontal. I'm not not impressed so far. Although on twenty, and it's cut for twenty. On twenty, it's um. On SSB, it was pretty dang close to my double loop. Here you go. Why not get non-insulated terminals and include non-insulated terminals? Uninsulated. They're, we're not they're hard to enough. find. They're At hard the end to of find. the day, we're not smart enough. Basically. Well, because you have the choice now. You can either use it or not use it. It's up to you. I mean, there's some hams. Own. There's some OM hams out there who are like, I want the insulation, boy. Yeah. So we, we include it so you can make a choice for yourself. We're this pro choice here. Pro insulation choice. I do want to make a. I wouldn't crazy. mind making a forty, a loop for forty, and see how it does. It is very quiet, though. I have to say, my dub is not real loud, but this thing's quiet. Let's see who we can get this time. Oh There's boy, Kobe. you're getting called out for soldering a crimp terminal. Yep. I don't have um, who's who's calling him out? Who's calling him out? Uh, you, you try to try to try to crimp solid core wire and tell me how it works. You, well, for one thing, I found out. I do crimp it, though. I crimp it and solder it. I so crimp it. There's prob there is probably better crimpers than I have. There's crimpers for, apparently, there's different crimpers. Well, I didn't know oh, that. Oh, there is. Have, there's there's a, a set for insulated terminals, and there's a different kind for uninsulated terminals, and they crimp differently. The Nothing, uninsulated Jim. kind will press in that center connector. Here, here, give me on the wire. Picture, yep, I'm coming. Jason likes to use the uh, red part as a whistle. There Those are non-insulated crimpers that Ape is holding up. And insulated. And insulated. So the nubbin is for non-insulated, mm -hmm. and then down here is for insulated. Yep. yep. And I love these things because they, they got wire strippers. What brand is that? In a wire you cutter. You love them? Uh, what what brand is that? Called Workman. If you could tell me, what is the best crimpers? Because I'm I, not I, impressed I with any used crimpers to use I've tried. Crimpers and all that stuff, but th this is pretty much all I use now. Those are nice because they're easy to get into tight spots. Chuck wants to put a link up for those. Ape. <laughs> and then look what I did. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got the I got I put heat shrink on my 
Let me go over here. I put heat shrink on these needle nose. So nice. that way I can use this to pull my pull my magnet pull wire, yep. tighten it up. Wow, and you still can't get it tight? Son, I don't, not everybody <laughs> plays with 20-gauge magnet wire. Oh, whatever. I got something out over here. Thank you, Dennis. Some, look yeah, at this stuff here. What we want. Yeah, you can pretty much just stop sharing that, Abe. Look at this right here, Abe. Feast your eyes on this stuff. What is that? Turn it it's magnet wire. But that looks like... Holy moly! Gauge. What is it? That's bigger than 12. That's 10. It's like 10 or 12. I forget. What do you, oh, that came with those, like the T200. Um, no, I bought, the I T400. bought it. I bought it for that... Uh, what was that antenna that, that, antenna that uh, Colin was making? He suggested it, so... Can we get back to Steve? I think we're done. Steve's Steve's done. Look at that. Less than an hour, good. boys. Let me solo you a little bit. Look at his... Solo his you. wires are pretty tight. You know, now, what I would do, personally, is that... You see where your ground one goes? You see how you have a gap right there? I usually... No. On, on the toroid itself. Go up to the toroid from where that comes from. Pinch those oh, yeah. two together. Pinch those two together. I like to keep mine tight. The only thing we know is that when Ape didn't have his tight, he oh burned his up. He burned and we don't tight. know well, if that was, was also, what it was. He was also doing 80 we don't meters, know. and you're not supposed to do 80 meters. Yeah, don't do 80 yeah, meters. Yeah, I did, I did 80 meters, world. too. Thank you, Starman. Thank you, you Jim. Of course, meters, I only had two contacts. absolutely respect you like, the power like, limits you like, on 80. You did 80 meters for like two minutes. I was sitting there full metal to the it was, pedal. To pedal it, was two, it was two times. Because there was only and two people this, on 80. I did 80 meters for 15 <laughs> minutes, and I had that toroid up to 170 or 180. And yours didn't turn did colors. An hour and a half. I think, I think Abe was stuff. That's why you smoked it, son. Don't, I wouldn't have had on hold it. it. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. Until you test it. The, the battery heat shrink, this stuff takes a lot of heat. So if it feels like it's not doing the job, just keep on putting more heat to it. Put and if it's a little wrinkled, just shrinking. keep heating it. Just try not to heat yeah. the... The winder too much. It's good stuff. Put the spurs. I'm gonna try this it. guy. I think it might have garbage. Yeah, the see. other, the other thing that Colby. I, found, I call him Colby. He's and Abe on. may have a heart attack when I say this, but he'll get over it. Um, Steve, are you done with the overhead? You want to just get rid of that? All right. Yeah, we can get rid of it. And go back to that. The other thing that I found is when I was building mine, I wanted to test it, so I had my antenna wire already cut. And connected. I did not have radials, and I put it on the uh, rig expert Lord. and got. Got reasonable he's SWR not, values not around four ish to five ish with no radials, and the antenna wire was laying across the floor of my metal shop. Lord. So, when it obviously that's not ideal conditions but if you get something even close just throw an antenna wire on it and then test it on your your nano or your rig expert if you're cool and you Run should ground to your values. welding table just cut a wire 25 feet and four inches fold four inches over and be done with it dave this is a, a gerber knife i did a review on this and the multi-tool that i was using tonight on my channel and those are basically the tools that i use i use the, the multi-tool from gerber and i use the pocket knife from gerber uh -oh. and i uh -oh. used the flush cutters and the pine sill and Kester 6337 solder. Doc has dropped a 199 super chat. Thank you. Doc. Makes the dream work. Thanks, and Doc. Doc. We're going to drop the base. And then Matt has here. a question, and it's in the instructions. But it's a 25 foot, four inch piece of wire you're going to cut, and you're going to fold back the four inches, and that's going to make your loop to hang the antenna that's radial. This is for right. And that's what the shrinky's for. Mm -hmm. And then, um, and then we're we're recommending four radials, which you have enough wire for four 17 feet radials with a little bit. I don't think over. he's got enough wire because I don't think he got one. Who? No, in this one I got. I did get the wire this time. The other kit didn't have wire in it, but I might have stolen. That lives. It that you, you've got like open. two. You got like two feet of wire left oh wait a minute wait 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 you should have you took the wire off it because it came I on your winder the back off. then it was probably that it was probably the ground the ground ones we were at, at uh thank you jody matt four 17 foot radials yeah you know what i i played with those yesterday guys because we have 
somebody is having a little problem with it. Thank you. I, Thanks, Jody. I didn't do that. Yes, that you did. Me. No, I didn't. That was Ape, I think. <laughs> you probably didn't Chris. want me to say what I was going to say. Thank you, Chris. No, no. So the thing is, is that I didn't say, see a difference. We say four 17 foot radials, but you may need to tune it or adjust them, right? Yep. I, I tried, uh, I built mine with four, and then I made another bundle of four because I had extra wire. <laughs> My hands Thank never broke my wrist. I, I, I'm telling you, it's Busby up here. And um, I did not see a whole lot of difference between four and eight, like almost nothing. So four and eight was. So if I take radials. if I take the 25 oh, foot. I think more is worse. So this is 100 foot of wire that we send. If I take the 25 foot four inches and make my vertical element, and then I take the remaining wire that's left and cut it into four equal pieces. Is that fine, or do I really need to have 17 foot radials? Because if you use a tuner, you can just cut the rest of it up. You only have like about a foot or foot and a half left, anyhow. You got more but than that. You got about eight or nine feet. Is there? Mm -hmm. hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I say cut them to 17 feet because it's not a Herculean task to do. You got that. about. You already did the right six part. feet. Yep, yep, right. Yep. All right. Cool. Let me halt it. Well, well folks, we've reached right the now. end of a successful build. Yeah. Awesome. Super pretty, pretty easy, huh? Pretty easy. Good job. Easy and breezy. Easy, breezy, beautiful. Cartena. Yeah. Oh, we're going to get yelled at for that. <laughs> Are we? Cartena. Uh... <laughs> yeah. okay. I'm done, y'all. I'm going to hit the button whenever you want. I'm okay. hitting the button. Thank you, everybody. Had a great time. Love you. Awesome. Bye.